Hi there, YouTube family. We are going to be doing an old fashioned haul. Of course, you guys always know that with my hauls come some reviews, which I'm always happy to do for you guys. But I have picked up quite a few things in the past few weeks. There's so many releases coming down. But drugstore is my love in makeup, you guys. You know that because I'm always trying to bring you good makeup. So let's get into the mini reviews of the new drugstore makeup I have. Now, I, this some of this stuff I have bought online, such as the Warrior 3 palette by Juvia's Place. You guys, look at this gorgeous palette. Look at all those colors. Oh my word, we're talking so beautiful, so amazing. This is every single bit as beautiful as all of their palettes. You guys, the pigmentation is there, the wear time is there, the color is there. I am so in love with the two blue colors that are down here. Now this looks great to you guys, which it is kind of a gray blue, but this one right here, it is just a bright, bright blue and wowie wow. We're talking about just some gorgeous colors and I am so excited to be using this palette and to be working with it. I did use it twice already and you do have to bring in a transition color, which is a little bit on the side of, you know, I wish that they had just thrown one in there type thing, but you guys, so pretty. The colors are so vibrant and let's see, this time they gave us one, two, they only gave us two out of the nine that are metallics and then the rest are matte colors. So these matte colors are saturated, they're easily blendable and wow, you guys, this is an amazing palette and I'm so excited. Now, if you're not into color, it might not be for you, but if you've wanted to step out and try it, it might also be for you. So moving on, I went into Rite Aid the other day and they had Koki Cosmetics. They have some new, new stuff of theirs. And these are the Soft Glow Highlighters and one is in Rosy and the other one is in Heavenly. So the one that looks a little bit more rose, that's going to be um, Rosy, of course. And then the other one, that looks like kind of like a gold light gold color that one is going to be um heavenly so, so hopefully you guys can see these right here is heavenly and then right here is rosy you guys they look like glass they are absolutely glass like and on the skin they are even prettier than that I'm this packaging too you guys look how it just looks luxe it's got almost the rose gold it's kind of between gold and rose gold and it's just so pretty in here this uh powder is almost creamy i just think it's so great so you're not going to get a bunch of powdery look from your highlighter and i'm just going to show it to you really quickly again Look how pretty you guys, oh my word, it's so pretty. I'm gonna put a little bit more over here. It's just one of those ones that you just wanna dive in and just bathe in. It's just so nice. And I do like rosy, but um, the thing is, is that the tone on Heavenly is, is more like a highlighter than just a blush topper like rosy would be for me. I mean, you know, I've got a really light complexion. So basically you guys, you really can't go wrong. They did have an icy color that um, was already open and I didn't want to get that one. So there is like an icy color in there too, but these are like 550 or something like that. And it's so reasonable and just looks like glass on your skin. Not going to show up any texture on your aging skin either. I haven't found that it did that at all. And then they also had a new foundation. It's called their full coverage foundation. And I have tried this twice you guys I'm not a hundred percent sold on it but I'm not a hundred percent against it either it's not full coverage it's more like a medium coverage so I just want you guys to know that and I do wear it in 20 C so they had W for warm or they had C in each color Koki cosmetics doesn't have like a fabulous shade range but I would say you know on my meter of you know scale of one to five where does this fit in I would say it's about a three um, but a lot of people don't like as full of coverage as I do and I think that 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 factors in the other thing is that it's still really humid where I am right now so I'm sweating a lot so that could factor in but I'm gonna keep trying it and I will continue to report back to you and then they also had their new crystal fish Vision liquid eyeshadow toppers. Okay, the reason that I think this is a topper instead of actually, you know, just like an eyeshadow is that it's fairly sheer. You could probably build it up, but you might get some flaking on it. But if you put that over top of any other shadow, you're going to get that duochrome effect and you're going to get that reflect. And this one is so pretty. Now, Let me look and see what this color is for you guys. So, of course, I gravitated towards the purple. Would I gravitate towards anything else? This color is called Supernova. So very pretty and, you know, very wearable when I did try it. I only tried it once, but 
Um, I did like this very much. And if you've been wanting to try the Stila, but you haven't been able to pull the trigger on that big price tag, you might really like that one. Okay, so last night I went and I just got these, you guys. So I want to tell you about them. This is the new Lash Princess Essence Lash Princess princess in waterproof. You guys, I've talked about this over and over again. Love this stuff. I just was picking up a new one. I have not tried the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. So let's just do this. Let's do this right here. Let's just try this. Oh my gosh, you guys. Oh my gosh. That is the finest mist I've ever seen. So it's since it's an aerosol and not a pump, it's so fine. I'm a little bit on the wet side here, but you guys, it's really fine. And it's like, you know, it doesn't have any squirt to it. So you don't get any droplets anywhere. So I'm probably going to enjoy that one, but I've been wanting to try this one for a long time. I have not looked up the ingredients, but I'm sure that it has probably got some alcohol in it because most setting sprays do. I also picked up the Revolution, Revolution Pro Blur Stick Universal Face primer and the claims on this i'm sure that they're trying to do a dupe kind of like milk makeup does the claims on this are that it is very blurring and that it will hide all of your imperfections and i'm putting it on there and you can't even tell but i will tell you one thing about it as i am touching it as i touched it last night as i was looking at it it feels stiff and i'm not all about that with my makeup i mean what i mean by that is you know, some of these sticks, they just glide on and they just feel really good on your face and they don't tug on your face. This one I feel like is going to. Um, I'm not gonna make a judgment about it until I actually try it. So I might have to put it on with my fingers. I might have to do a beauty sponge, see if I can tap it in. But that is the only thing. I feel like if I used it as this stick like this, it's gonna drag. But as far as the product goes, I haven't used it. So I'm gonna, re you know, I'm gonna review that again. I will. Um, kind of hold back my uh, thoughts completely on it until I get to do that. And then Sabrina, do you guys watch Sabrina? If you're an oily skinned person, you have to watch Sabrina. She does the best foundation tests for oily skin. She tests it in all different kinds of conditions and she loves it. But Sabrina always has the prettiest lipstick on. And she um, said that this number 916 from Maybelline, this is in Blushing Beige. She talked about putting this on with other lipsticks, which is what I did today. I put it in the middle to kind of, you know, give light to a browner lipstick that I was wearing and I love it. And then I put a gloss on top of it. It really does give that, you know, dimensional look to your lips and make your lips look a little bit more pouty. So there's the color of that. And I just think it's so pretty. And it is kind of, it's not really all the way matte, but it's not a cream. So I would say like a satin formula there. I love Maybelline, Maybelline's lipsticks. I think they're so good. And at the same time, she also talked about the Rocket Volume Mascara. I got this in the waterproof formula. She was doing a dupes video and I can't remember which product she was trying to dupe, but she said this was a really good dupe for it. Ooh, I wanna say it's the Hourglass Mascara. If I'm wrong, I'll make sure I list that too. But um, got a really dense, um, like a plastic wand it's not the bristle brush like it normally is so it's really dense on there i did use it today i didn't feel like i got as much volume as i could have out of a, you know another mascara but i felt like it was pretty good and i will continue to use it it is uh, waterproof maybelline is really famous to me for their waterproof uh, mascaras. They're a little bit hard to get off. So if that is the case, I might not be liking this one, but I'll report back to you guys and let you know. And then one of you subscribers had talked to me about the CoverGirl Lid Lock It Up, or Lid Lock Up, excuse me, the, as a primer. And this one is really, really good. It really holds your eyeshadow. I've worn it for two days in a row and I really do like that. The only thing is I wish it was a little bit more opaque in its color, which I like my eyeshadow primers to, you know, take away all that red discoloration I have, but this is good. I really have enjoyed it and yeah, I will continue to use it and we'll see if it becomes a favorite or not because that's the only drawback about it. The is thing is you guys, you know how my health gets in the way of things. If you see, something in my monthly favorites after you see it in a haul, you're going to know that I fell in love with it. And that is something that I, um, you know, had tested over and over again. And it's something that, you know, I just, 
feel like I can't live without or whatever. And so um, definitely watch my end of the month videos where I'm doing a wrap up and you'll see some of these in there. If you don't see it, it's probably gonna be in a disappointing products video down the road. And if you don't see it there, then ask me about it if you are interested in it because sometimes I'm just, I'm just spacey like that. Okay, so the color corrector from Makeup Revolution, this one is great, you guys. Not green, super green. I mean, you know, when you do a color corrector and it's super saturated in color, sometimes that can interfere with your foundation. This one does not do that. Now this is going to completely sheer out on my skin, it's gonna give that little tinge, but at the same time, it's not gonna be so much that I wouldn't be able to wear it. So I'm enjoying this one. I do use a pore minimizing primer first and then put this one on top of it for the discoloration on my cheeks and around my nose and on my chin for the redness. But yeah, this has been a really good one and I've liked, I've enjoyed the formula of it quite a bit. And then I got two different metal, this must be the thing, metal liquid li liners, eyeliners. This one is from Rimmel and this is called Wonder Swipe. And this is their green color. I'll list for, I'll list 100% what the color is up there. And so there is the green one right there. I love that. That is the Rimmel one. Actually haven't gotten a chance to work with either one of these yet, just so you guys know. And then this one right here is from Maybelline. This is the Master Precise Ink. And this one is in their purple color. Both of these are beautiful. Both of them have that little metallic glitter in them. And yeah, I'm liking both of those. Now I will say, I, I swatched these last night and the Rimmel one, didn't come off as I was washing my hands and stuff through the, you know, through the night. Um, but the, the Maybelline one, it did come off. So the Rimmel one looks to me like it's going to pull ahead and it's going to be the one that is going to last you the most, but I'll let you know on those also. And then something that I've really been enjoying since I got this last week is the Maybelline Tattoo Studio brow pomade type thing. You guys have been using it with a Benefit brush that has a spoolie on one end and then a really stiff bristle brush on the other end. This is in ash brown. Perfect color for me. I've been really enjoying this. I feel like I've almost been enjoying it more than any pencil I have because it's been so precise and I like that a lot. And the other thing is, is I don't have to set this with a gel. This stays on all day. I really have liked what that, what it's been doing to my brows and been enjoying it a lot. And that is it you guys for my haul, my little haul today. I hope that you did enjoy it. Um, I will report back to you on most of these products. And the other thing is, is by the time this video goes up, I will probably have more of a feel about it. So always check into the description box and sometimes if I have like really, you know, strong feeling about it, I'm going to post it right up here onto the screen so that you can see how I felt about it too. Thank you guys so much for watching today. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up on your way out of here. I would really appreciate it. It does help my videos out a lot. You guys mean the world to me. You're the best part of my day and I appreciate you spending some of your time here. I love you guys so much. Take care of yourselves and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye guys.